Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Fruitland Park, Florida. We've been out here once before, I believe that was um, like a week or so ago. We came out here to see the second largest tree, the second largest live oak in all of Florida. <coughs> I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. The second largest oak, live oak in all of Florida. We're not here to see that today. We're here to see, to see something else, something we were pretty excited about. We are here at the Life Enrichment Center. This is something we were we were very, very excited to check out, very excited to see, but um, we're, we're looking at it over here in the, uh, in the distance, and um, this might not quite live up to the hype of the photos we saw on, um, on the internet. This is something we thought was gonna be the first one of these we've ever done, but it looks like this is going, going to just be another one of these that we've, mm -hmm that we've done. We've been to many of these where um, they haven't quite lived up to the hype of the uh, the pictures on the the internet. So just another one to add to the, the list of these that unfortunately have not really been kept up. So we are out here today to see yet another labyrinth. labyrinth. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done a labyrinth. Sean was actually saying just last week, when are we gonna go out to see another labyrinth? So I figured we had to, to find one and there's one out here but unfortunately, <laughs> again, not quite living up to the hype. I don't think it's been kept up with, but um, we're here. We're gonna take a look at it. All right, so right away, it's actually kind of, ooh. <laughs> right away, it's kind of awesome how you walk through this sort of, um, I don't know, like Spanish style facade, which is really, really cool. I'm, I'm digging the, um, the entranceway. I would walk maybe a little bit away from the entranceway though, because, uh, no, I, you should have kept going, because <laughs> that is a that is a nest of, of wasps. We're just going to walk. We're going to walk through there. All right. So kind of, again, like a Spanish-style sort of um, entrance, but you can see it hasn't really been kept up with uh, all that well. It's completely overgrown. There's spiders and wasps, and I'm going to walk back over towards the wasps because I, I want to read this, um, this sign. It says, St. Michael Labyrinth. Designed and built by Michael Cavacalane, I don't know, uh, D. Ancy, uh, Gordon Hall, David Smith, and the staff of the Life Enrichment Center and the Warren W. Willis Camp, uh, camp dedicated Friday, December 31st, 1999. So this was built in 1999. Again, I love the style. I love the look of the, the entrance here. I walk through this entranceway there's some seats some benches here the cool flooring is pretty neat uh in honor of paul and lucy ray for their generous donation so all kinds of um little plaques out here i saw one over here as well on the on the bench it says i'm, I'm scared to touch anything there's so many bugs and stuff out here um during this time of uncertainty we should be grateful that we have a music and the arts to bring us all together. Corey, Rankin, Millennium Celebration. So all kinds of interesting plaques and things out here, but this is not necessarily what we're here to see, but I, again, I like the, I'm falling over stuff. I like the uh, <laughs> the entrance to the, the labyrinth. There are bricks out here as well for I guess people who have donated money towards the labyrinth. I kind of feel bad for these people that they've, um, they put money towards this. And what we're left with is, this so absolutely 100 percent a labyrinth but the photos that we saw online were, like we're showing hedge. we're showing hedges so all these all these areas right here these were all hedges that came up to maybe about like oh geez i'm, I'm breaking my, my ankles came up to about like yay high on uh, on sean there so they were pretty cool looking hedges so this was like a hedge mage. not a hedge mage but a hedge he, hedge, hedge <laughs> labyrinth which was pretty awesome. And we have never done a labyrinth through hedges. So I saw photos of this. It looked epic. It looked awesome. It looked amazing. And I was like, we got, we got to come see this. There were a couple other labyrinths I was thinking about going to. But when I saw photos of this one, I said, yeah, this is the one we have to do. This is the one we have to come out to. I know we have to do it. Oh, we're here. We're going to do it. But um, again, not quite living up to the hype of the photos. The hedges, for whatever reason, are no longer here. This labyrinth has sadly not been kept up with but we are here we are going to take a look at this we are going to walk this it's still a cool looking labyrinth i'm still excited about this 
again, I like the I like the entranceway. It may be covered in uh, in weeds and and stingy bugs, but it is so pretty cool. All right, you're gonna walk what? Yeah, I would I would recommend maybe not walking through the um, the entrance there again. But anyway, all right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna walk the labyrinth. We're here. We came to see the labyrinth again. One that's not very well kept up with, but we're gonna do this. All right, so Sean's making me go first, so I can walk through all the all the spider webs. Gee, thanks. Um, so this is a and oh gosh, I just walked through, I just walked through a spider web. Okay, yep, there are definitely definitely spider webs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So this is an eleven circuit medieval labyrinth full of spider webs. <laughs> You really can't see that when you're walking. I, I, I see your issues now. Anyway, an 11 circuit medieval labyrinth that we're walking through with a really cool cross here in the center. We haven't made our way to the center yet though. We're, we're working on it. A lot of, well, of course it's a labyrinth. Lots of twists, lots of turns. We're, we're making our way. Yeah, lots of spider, lots of twists, turns, and spider webs. <laughs> At least if you get tired though, you can take uh, some breaks on these, on these little stools here, which is pretty cool. I believe each one says a name. Yeah, yeah this one is to uh, Kathy McFadden and Lucy Ray. Yeah. Ruth McNeil Walker, in honor of the women and men of Seminole UMC. Yeah, oh, well, you don't want to, oh geez, you don't want to sit on that one. There's a nice big spider on, on that one right there. So I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, of spiders. They kind of freak me out. <laughs> I, I know it's a stupid, irrational fear. Like what, yeah, most spiders aren't going to harm you. Don't get me wrong. There are definitely spiders out there who are quite venomous and can, can do some harm to you. But for the most part, most spiders you run into, probably not going to not gonna bug you too much, not gonna try to bite you, not gonna hurt you. And even, even if they do, probably not gonna do any damage. But I am still terrified of them. And to see the one over there, which is big and yellow and had spots on it, is the same one I saw over there, which now makes me think that all these different spider webs that I'm walking through as I'm walking along the labyrinth are probably spider webs for those type of spiders, whatever. Oh whatever they are. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just, now I'm like looking at myself, waiting to see a spider crawling up my leg. Oh yeah. See, they, they're running. He's running away from us. They don't, they don't want to, they don't want you to jump it over. <laughs> the spiders, ah, what was that? <sighs> the spiders don't want to bother us, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm still, I'm still not a huge fan of, of the spiders. And I'm like thinking I need to stick to to put in front of me because <laughs> they're definitely spider webs we're walking through right now. All right, so I have no idea how far through the labyrinth we've we've made it, but there are some more benches. In memory of Mr. and Mrs. W.C. Hardin Sr., to their loving memory from the family of Reverend Mabel M. Dick and Reverend Floyd W. Dick, and George and Mary Jean Carlton. So all these little places you can sit, but again, I would be be leery. There's another one of those those weird looking spiders right there. The um, the benches are full of spiders. If you get tired, Sean, I'd recommend not sitting down. I would just like to point out that I'm not faulting the um, life in oh, there's a spider web, the life enrichment center for the um, for the amount of spiders. We're we're in nature. <laughs> we're in Florida. Not really a whole heck of a lot you can do about that. I'm getting nervous. We're walking past trees. I'm waiting for yeah. a big spider web to be come. I'm like I'm. I'm trying to trying to look for for things shining in the light. Anyway, I'm not faulting the uh, the Life Enrichment Center for the um, for the for the amount of spiders. Again, we're we're in nature. We're in Florida. Nothing you can do about the um, the spiders. They're they're gonna be whether this labyrinth was kept up or not. There's gonna be spiders out here. But uh, I wish some of those spiders were were maybe on the bushes. Although the more I think about it, think about how many spiders there would probably be strung from one bush to another. If uh, if there were bushes here, 
we'd be walking through a ton of spider webs. Oh, gosh. I just thought about that. So, so maybe in the long run, <laughs> maybe this is actually better. Yeah, I guarantee you, every pathway would have just so many spider webs. And I think I just walked through one. Ugh, so many spider webs going through them. We would need a stick in, in front of us. Absolutely. So I, I suppose maybe, like I said, in the long run, maybe there being uh, no bushes. What was that? What was what? There's like this like weird like flying thing. Again, we're in nature. Who, who knows? Who knows? It's, it's Florida. I have seen some really weird, bizarre, that spider web. Yep. 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 Really weird, bizarre bugs. Ah, bugs down here. <laughs> I, I just keep walking through the spider webs. <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm now done. <laughs> I'm now covered in spider webs. All right. Anyway, what was that? I don't even know. I've, I've completely lost my train of thoughts. I have, I have no idea where I was going with anything I was just saying. All right. Luckily, I guess maybe there are no bushes because we're not walking through just tons of spider. Well, no, we are, we are walking through. Either way, we're walking through tons of spider webs, apparently, but maybe slightly less because of the lack of, uh, of bushes. <laughs> so I'm thinking at this point, we're maybe about halfway, if not a little bit further through the, um, through the labyrinth. I'm, I don't even know what that is. Anyway, I'm thinking we're maybe about halfway or so through the labyrinth. We're, we're making our way towards the, um, the center. And as I'm walking, I'm noticing there's some spots of the labyrinth that have a bit different color of a, um, of, of concrete. The concrete's definitely at one point been replaced, which makes me wonder if maybe at one point this, um, this labyrinth was a bit well more kept up with. Maybe at one point they were coming out here, trimming the hedges, maintaining this. If, if anything was cracked, if any of the, the concrete was in not very good condition. Maybe they were at one point actually replacing pieces of the concrete. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm thinking at one point this labyrinth was a bit more well kept up with. Again, it's been here since 1999. So that's plenty of time for this, uh, this labyrinth to have fallen into disrepair or for pieces of concrete to have been pretty well damaged or for just anything bad to have happened to this labyrinth where some maintenance would have been required. And I'm thinking at one point they were doing maintenance to the labyrinth, but it looks like maybe, maybe not so much anymore. Or who knows? Maybe they are still keeping up with this. I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely sure. But like I said, there are these different areas, these areas here where the, the concrete's a slightly different shade. You can tell this is much older concrete than that concrete right there. So some maintenance has been done over the years. I am extremely confused right now. Wasn't I ahead of you? You were ahead of me. Yeah. I thought I was walking ahead of you to, oh, now I'm, ba now I'm back. Okay, okay. now I'm back walking through the spider webs. Thanks. Although before we do continue on, I wanna take a look at these benches as well. In honor of our ministry together, Cokesbury Christian Bookstores, Heart to Heart, Trish and Margaret, and Reverend D, no, sorry, Reverend Dr. Glenn Gal Gautry? And Reverend Deborah Gal Gautry, if I'm saying that right, what is what does "go ye" mean? Like "go, go all ye faithful." Comments down below. Go ye, Matthew 28:19. I'm not familiar with "go ye" in the uh, in the Bible. Somebody can leave a comment down below and uh, clue me in on on "go ye." I'm very very curious what exactly that means. I will give this labyrinth this though. The scenery, the um, the location, the ambiance is uh, is quite nice. We're actually right next to Lake Griffin. I took you guys out to see Lake Griffin. I believe it was um, last week or so, if I'm not mistaken. So Lake Griffin, right, right there. I love all the um, the trees with the the Spanish moss. Definitely has uh, again some nice ambiance. Some nice ambiance. Hey. How are you ahead again? <laughs> Wait, what? you're like way ahead. Anyway, I like the, the ambiance. I like the scenery. I like the setting of the, um, of the labyrinth right by Lake Griffin, which is really, really awesome. Are you walking the wrong way now? Oh. <laughs> I, think there's, I think there's some cheating going on. This part of the labyrinth is both uh, amazing and kind of terrifying all at the same time because we're walking through Spanish moss, which is which is cool, which is interesting to have it all hanging down around you. But 
there is definitely spider webs all throughout the uh, the Spanish moss. So cool again for the the ambiance, for the um, just the the neatness that is Spanish moss hanging from the trees surrounding you. But maybe not so much for the fact that I can see so many spider webs and all kinds of I'm assuming other bugs and uh, and whatnot that are living in the moss. I've actually been warned by um, some friends down here that. The Spanish moss might look cool, it might look neat, but you don't want to be playing with it because apparently there's all kinds of bugs and whatnot that live in the, uh, the moss. So it's best just to kind of like leave it alone. It is cool looking though, but yeah, I can tell right from here there's all kinds of <laughs> bugs and spiders and whatnot living in it. Did you walk through the moss? No, you skipped it? Probably smart. We've made our way to uh, one of the outer rims and there's a bench over here. This one says, those who love us do not go away. They sit beside us every day. In memory of Peggy Oliver, who was always growing, learning, and sharing God's love. This bench has, um, has seen some, some better days. It's a little bit leaning that way. I don't think I'd want to actually sit on this bench. I'd be scared the whole thing was going to just topple over, but there are... What? What? <laughs> there are a lot of benches out, out here. What'd you say? Oh, okay. You, you skipped ahead while, while I was reading? <laughs> fair, fair enough. Every time I turn around, somehow you're, you're further ahead. Everywhere. It's like one of those things where you, you want me to walk ahead because you want me to walk through the spider webs, but you still want to get to the, uh, the center first, right? No. Uh huh. I'm okay. I'm going to skip ahead so I don't have to touch <laughs> the plants that are actually like. Well, I have good news. What? Looking ahead, I think we are, we are just about there. Yeah, we have just about. Mi what? <laughs> we have just about made it to the, uh, the center of the labyrinth. As I always say with labyrinths, one of the cool things about them is there's no right way and there's no wrong way to do a labyrinth. You can run through it. You can skip through it. You can take your time. You can hop from, from area to area to area to, um, from, uh, from circuit to circuit to circuit. If you, if you, if you want, so if Sean was, was skipping circuits, if he was skipping ahead, that's okay. Because again, there's no right way or wrong way to do a labyrinth. I just, I just walked over the... <laughs> I mean, you can do it that way. So I'm skipping over the, uh, the circuits right now. And technically that is, that is okay. But all right, here we go. We have made our way to the center. This is the center of the labyrinth with a cross right in the middle. It's all tiled. Pretty awesome. We have made it. We've, no, we've walked through the, okay, I've, now we have made it. We have braved the spiders. Yeah, what? You have to go the other way. Oh, that's right. We do have to walk through it. It also says, um, well, I already did it. 1999 GRHMKDA. And I'm now realizing I am walking through a whole boatload of, um, a fire ant. So you gotta love the, uh, you gotta love the bugs out here. You're done again? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, so as Sean said, you're not, you're not done a labyrinth unless you've gone through the whole thing in reverse. I, I agree. As much as I love um, just getting to the center, I like spending time in a labyrinth. So I, 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 I agree with Sean. If you're gonna come out to a labyrinth, you gotta do it both ways. You gotta, gotta walk to the center and then from the center to the, the beginning. So, all right. We doing this again? Yep. Okay, here we go. It's also getting very, very humid out. Hey. <laughs> I did it. It's not fair. I can't say you're cheating. You're technically doing it right. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. Whoa, so we're, we're talking about all the bugs and whatnot out here. Look at the size of that grasshopper. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's still alive. Wow, that is a huge grasshopper. That is insane. <laughs> that is awesome looking too. I'm waiting for it to move any minute now. Lunge at me. That is cool. Well, the, the wildlife is strong out here. <laughs> I, there are so many spiders and, and ants and wasps and giant, huge, insane grasshoppers that are like the size of my, my fist. That is crazy. I'm sure... Due to the fact that we're right by the lake, I, I can only imagine this um, 
This labyrinth probably gets its occasional share of alligators and other crazy wildlife. I wouldn't be surprised, but man, that is, that is awesome. And this is what I mean by my fears of spiders are completely irrational. Teeny tiny little spider, Ugh, I, I, no, run, run away, run away. Giant grasshopper the size of my fist. I get right up on that thing and, and start taking pictures and, and videoing it because it's, it's so cool. <laughs> Like, wh why? Okay, yes, granted, the uh, the grasshopper is not going to, to bite me and inject me with venom. But again, it's not the fact that I'm going to be possibly bit by a spider that scares me. It's just the spiders in general that freak me out. It's, it's the look of them. The, the legs, it's those legs. <laughs> they, they, they freak me out. And the eyes. The, 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 the Yes, the eyes and the legs. And... <laughs> spiders are just, they freak me out. The giant, huge grasshopper. Nah, totally, oh, totally okay with that. I have, I've held so many weird bugs and animals and things in my hands before. Why I just can't get over the stupid, irrational fear of spiders. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I have to go to a zoo, one of those zoos that lets you like hold a tarantula. I need to just, I need maybe just to hold one. Maybe once I hold it, I'll go. Oh, you're not, you're not so bad. Or maybe I'll just be completely freaked out. I don't know. One of the two. By the way, I'm skipping that little corner right there because I don't feel like walking through the moss anymore. Oh, it is already quite toasty out here right now. If you want to beat the, the heat and humidity of Florida, you got to get up at like five o'clock in the morning, get to your destination like just as the the, the sun is coming up over the, over the horizon. Because if you, you wait just even a little bit, by like 10 o'clock, the, the humidity and the heat is just so intense. Look at this. I'm, I'm like sweating through my shirt already. It's only 10 o'clock in the, uh, the morning. Back, back in, P I guarantee you, back in PA right now, this time of year, it's probably cool and crisp. I'd probably have a, a hoodie, maybe even a hoodie and a jacket on right now. Not, a, not in Florida. In Florida, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Humidity is 400%. It's probably 80 something degrees right now, probably heading towards the, the 90s. I gotta start getting up. Uh, I should start going to bed earlier and getting up earlier. That's what I should probably start doing here in Florida because uh, it is, it is warm. What? I said probably. Probably? Yeah, probably. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm maybe once again halfway through the labyrinth. I, I think anyway, I'm not 100% sure where I am. I've made it to one of the outer bands, so I'm making my way there. I think, uh, I think maybe I'm almost finished. Where are you? <laughs> are you halfway through? Oh, you, all right. Well, it's a labyrinth. We're, we're lost. But the good news is it is a labyrinth. So you just keep walking and eventually you'll, you'll find your way out. Once again, somehow Sean has found his way to the uh, the beginning. So I don't think I'm anywhere near done. I'm looking at the path. It goes all the way up. I <laughs> no. Ah, jeez. All right. Well, we're get. I'm get. I'm getting there. <laughs> again, one of the things I love most about labyrinths is the fact that they're they're so compact but they take so long to get through. So you, you get your, I mean, not that you, you're we're really paying for any of these labyrinths. I don't think we've ever, ever been to a labyrinth we had to actually pay for, but I'll still say you, you get your money's worth when you, uh, when you come out to a labyrinth. It might look tiny. You might walk up to the labyrinth and think, that's not, that's not very big. That's gonna take me all of like two minutes to walk through. And next thing you know, you've been walking through the labyrinth for, for a half hour because it just, it twists and turns and weaves. And oh yeah, Sean was right. I hadn't even made it through the little kind of like halfway area here. Okay. Again, it's warm, it's humid, but I'm pushing through. I gotta be there soon. I think this has to be my favorite part. Oh, there's the grasshopper again. I can't tell if he's a lot. Oh no, there's a fly on him. I think he's dead. <laughs> I don't think that grasshopper is alive, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a fly on him. He doesn't seem to care. That's a shame. All right, anyway, 
So this is my favorite part of the uh, the labyrinth, I'm thinking. It's the part right here towards the center that just twists and, and turns. It gets kind of, uh, kind of crazy. Yeah, I like this part. That's cool. Okay. Now maybe I'm, I'm halfway. I'm more than halfway now? Okay, good. I'm trying to follow the path with my eyes. And in doing that, I think I am just about done. So I'm gonna go through the other little crazy, twisty, turny part on the other side of the, um, of the center. And then once I do that, I think, hello again. Hi. And then once, once I do that, I think we just, oh, spider webs all over me. I think we, um, we just go this way and then we end up over there where Sean is. And I think we are then done the labyrinth. We have walked it both ways. Yes, we've, we've made it. All right, we've done it. We've officially traversed the, the labyrinth. We've gone from the beginning to the end, or the beginning to the center, to the center, to the, uh, okay, now it's time to to the beginning. Do it again. What, you wanna do it again? No. <laughs> and we did it. All right, we have made it. What? And I did it. And you did it. We have both, we have both done the labyrinth. And I'm really wishing I would've brought some water with me. <laughs> it's hot. All right, guys, so I think that's just about gonna do it for the St. Michael Labyrinth here at the Life Enrichment Center in Fruitland, Florida. Pretty interesting labyrinth, pretty cool, even though it clearly could use a little uh, maintenance, a little love, some TLC, a couple of bushes maybe replanted, but either way, it's still a pretty interesting, neat labyrinth. I'm happy we came out here. Unfortunately, again, not quite living up to the hype of the photos. If you're a big fan of of labyrinths, I would recommend maybe looking up photos of what this labyrinth is supposed to look like because with the uh, the hedges, it's actually pretty awesome. But uh, unfortunately, that is not the case anymore, sadly. But still, I'm happy we came out here. I'm happy we did this labyrinth. I'm happy we saw this labyrinth because who, who knows? Who knows how much longer this will be here? Maybe eventually it will fall into complete disrepair. Maybe they're just not putting any time or real effort into the um, the labyrinth anymore. Maybe someday this 1999 labyrinth won't be around. So I figured we had to come out here and we had to check this out regardless of the, regardless of whether or not it lived, lived up to the hype or did not live up to the, um, the hype. We had, to, we had to walk the labyrinth. We had to do it. Another, another labyrinth checked off our, our labyrinth list. <laughs> but all right, guys, I am a sweaty ball of goo right now. It is warm. It is hot. There's a Wawa right down the street. We get, we get bottles of water, we're getting bottles of water. So, all right, guys, that is going to do it. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts and hit that join button and become a member of this channel and gain early access to all of our videos. All that stuff helps support the show and keeps the show going. So we really do appreciate the help. We really do appreciate the support. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag. There's lots of spiders here. Hashtag there's lots of spiders here. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, guys, leave that hashtag down below if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end. And like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button, or you are subscribed, then we will see you in the next video. One more time from the center of the labyrinth. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Hold on guys, wait a minute. There's still one more thing I wanna take a look at because I've been just kind of eyeing this up the entire time we've been walking the labyrinth. There's this, I don't know, maybe a little chapel is what I'm thinking this is over here by the lake. This is pretty cool looking. There's a, um, a big wooden cross, but I like the, the style of this. I really like the design of this. Again, I'm, I'm assuming chapel. This is really cool looking. Yeah, I can see a cross inside there and there's a oh there's a spider there and a spider there and i should probably not do this but i'm going to do this anyway terrible awful horrible idea welcome to the prayer room make yourself comfortable all right
Take some deep breaths to settle your soul, relax, think about Jesus and his great love for you. Find a comfy spot, um, stand up, sit down, kneel at the altar, or lie flat on your back on the floor. This is your room and your time to be with the Lord. Okay, so that's, that's the rules. Is it even open? Oh my gosh, it is open. Are you gonna stay there? Okay, hold on, I gotta, I gotta go inside. Oh my gosh, it's air conditioned in here. It feels really good. So there's, um, there's a little sink area here. There's some janitor stuff there. And then yeah, sure enough, there is an altar over here. Look at this. So there's the altar, there's the Bible, there's a cross. This is really, really cool. I was not expecting this to be open, honestly. When, we, when, when I was eyeing this up, I thought this was a little chapel that maybe they occasionally did some kind of um, ceremonies in or, or something like that, or, or maybe baptized people in or something. I was not expecting this to not only be open, but very much well maintained and air conditioned as well. So clearly, like I said, money is put into different places at this, um, at this center. This is clearly one of the places where the money is put into. This is cool. This is really neat. Happy I walked in here quickly. Happy I walked over to see what this was all about. This is pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, like I said, had to walk over here, had to check this out, had to see what this was all about. That is cool. And an amazing view of, uh, of the lake out there. All right. Okay, <laughs> that was cool. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I gotta get back out to my son. I'll see you guys next video. So cool. All right, bye. Wait a minute, no, hold on. Now I, I rarely ever do a, um, a second uh, stinger at the end of the videos, but I am so happy that I saw this now and not when I first walked up to this, uh, this chapel here because I probably would not have, have gone in had I seen that. Okay, that is, um, that is insane. That is a huge spider. That's also the size of uh, my fist. Okay, and with that, we're done. We're, we're, we're going home. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're done.